strap your butts in. It's time for the Krusty Cooch Chronicles. So, who wants to kick off scary story night this evening? I have quite the tale for you, cocksuckers. Patrick, your stories always somehow end up with your ass on the grill. Well, who doesn't like warm buns? Let the lad tell his story, Mr. Squidward. That punchline of his is always my favorite part. <laughs> oh, brother. There I was, in my hole in the ground, huffing gasoline fumes from my bottle of mouthwash. Why do you keep gasoline in your mouthwash? <laughs> I'm telling a story! So I was smacked, you know, got, got up, stumbled around, got the munchies, you know the drill. Pop some popcorn, kick back, and put on a Amy Schumer comedy special! The end. Patrick, that's not a scary story! It was pretty scary for me. I've never heard a woman talk so much about her stanky, left my baloney in the sun too long cooter in my entire life! <laughs> So, uh, what happened then? I posted that women aren't funny on the internet. Oh, jeez, yeah, those replies would probably be horrifying. That story is pretty scary, Patrick. P patrick Tiring doing a whole lot of nothing all day. Well, I want to dream good tonight, so I guess I'll have some of these magic barnacles that Mr. Krabs sold me. <laughs> a few trippy hours later. <laughs> it was just a dream. What seems to be the problem there, uh, Patrick? <laughs> Whoa, it's Bing Crosby! Will you sing me a Christmas song? All I want for Christmas is you! First of all, uh, that's Mariah Carey. The second of all, I'm not Bing Crosby, I'm Bill Cosby! <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, you know, America's uh, favorite uh, black person. Doesn't ring any bells. No, oh, you know, the uh, famous comedian. Uh, Nope, still not getting it. I had a bunch of allegations against me. Oh, you're the rapey guy. I got you now. <laughs> oh, well, you see, that's kind of wild here, Patrick. You see, those allegations against me, are, they're totally false. They are? I need you to go out and show the world that uh, I'm not really such a bad guy. I didn't go out and diddle any kids. I don't think anybody said you diddled any kids. Oh, well, I just wanted to make it clear. I didn't diddle any kids, all right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the part you should be worried about. I'll tell you what. I'll let you get back to sleep and think about it a little bit more. But just don't forget about your old pal, Bill Cosby, okay? Oh, whatever you say. Well, here, let, let me get you a glass of water before I get going. <laughs> No drink it all at once! Oh, thanks, Bill Cosby. You're always looking out for me. That's just what I do. <laughs> well, see you later, Patrick. I really gotta lay off the drugs. It's no not November, but it doesn't really matter, cause I ain't got no giblets. <gasps> Do my ears deceive me? Mr. Squidward! Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Krabs, I can explain. How could you, Mr. Squidward? You were like a son to me, and in November, at the register? I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. I didn't think you would notice. I'm gonna have to have some time. 
Some time to think this over, Mr. Squidward. Mr. Krabs, please. I'll do anything. There's plenty here for the both of us. It's too late for that, Mr. Squidward. The deed has already been done. Then what am I supposed to do, Mr. Krabs? I was almost done mixing this jello. Jello? You were making jello. Well, yeah. What else would I be doing behind the register at lunchtime? <laughs> oh, this whole time I thought you were jerking off behind the register. Huh? <laughs> All right, carry on then. Howdy ho, Krusty Crew. Oh dear, Neptune, Squidward, what are you doing? Oh, you know, just busting a nut. <laughs> oh, Ooh. and I thought you were making jello or something. <laughs> And now, from somewhere deep in the faraway lands of Pennsylvania, I present to you, Ashy the Asshole. <clears throat> the things I'm gonna do to you tonight! <laughs> oh! Uh, hi! I was just about to sit here and eat this bowl of Chef Boyardee brand beefaroni! Authentic! Mmm! Waiting on my check, Boyardee! This, uh... Joke's getting kind of old, isn't it? <laughs> it's not even beefaroni, it's spaghettios. <laughs> ah, I'm Ashy the Asshole. I thought I bought a more authentic pirate costume from Spirit Halloween, but it turns out I paid $70 for a duster. Doesn't even come with the hat. Thanks, Spirit Halloween. So instead, I went for more of a bum aesthetic. I think it works. Anyway, you might know my charming is dirt, good for nothing second cousin Patchy the Pirate. He stole everything from me, I tell you! I didn't used to be an alcoholic asshole! That son of a bitch! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. My therapist tells me that with plenty of time and lots of breathing exercises, I can move past it. Oh, uh, you know what that means. No, you little gremlins. <laughs> no! It's time to read YouTube comments. Our letter today comes from Name and Address Withheld. And they write, Dear Ashy. You are an asshole. When are we finally going to see SpongeBob in these videos? Fuck you. Name and address withheld. <laughs> well, you good for nothing, incel. Since you asked, I'm gonna tell you what happened to SpongeBob on that fateful day. Strap in, you little bastards. I ain't got all day. must still be busy with some alone time. Well, guess I'll just stand here and vandalize the front of his house while I wait. Patrick, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Squidward. Just drawing dicks on SpongeBob's house till he comes out. <laughs> Patrick, SpongeBob has been missing for months! He isn't coming back! No. No SpongeBob? Oh dear Neptune. <gasps> SpongeBob! What is it, Johnson? I don't know. I feel a disturbance. Patrick! We go over this every morning! But Squidward! Who's gonna shave that hard to reach spot on my ass? Who's gonna pretend they're a kid with Down syndrome with me? Who's gonna feed me my bedtime pickle milk? Huh, well, you know, you bring up some pretty enticing points there. I know! Pickle milk is serious business. I like to lick it off the pickle titty like... <sighs> Patrick, if I help you find SpongeBob, will you please leave me alone? Hmm. Well, what's in it for me? Seems like a pretty one-sided deal. What? 
Patrick, you're the only one benefiting from this. I know you are, but what am I? Don't these Vienna sausages remind you of little wieners with their heads cut off? I'm really beginning to think you need some serious help. Mr. Krabs, have you seen SpongeBob? No, not since he busted me out of jail for that trafficking incident. I'm trying to find him so this thunderhead will leave me alone. Sure got a lot of nerve taking advantage of me like this. <laughs> Are you talking about your old fry cook? Yeah, that's the one. It's been, uh, it's been peaceful around here without him. Oh, brother, this food stinks! Huh? My burger tastes like a used condom. My burger is a used condom. Come on, let's get out of here. Wait! What if I offered you some free Gucci? <laughs> oh yeah, we are definitely out of here. No way! Don't go! Oh no, 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 no! Uh, we need to get the talking dick cheese back. Our current fry cook is capsizing the integrity of me business. I'll be done in a minute. You can take the beefaroni mobile. I'll stay right here and batten down the hatches. Patrick, do you know how to drive? Nope. We're coming for you, SpongeBob! And so you see, Doc, basically Coochabinus is horse shit, and so are you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, very interesting. Patrick, why would you take the driver's seat if you didn't know how to drive? Oh, I lied. I know how to drive. I was just really hoping a paraplegic was on the other side of that wall. What is the meaning of this? We're on a quest to find SpongeBob! SpongeBob? Why would you want anything to do with that mental case? I need a decent fry cook again! I need peace and quiet! Oh! Uh, I need him to shave my ass. We don't have any leads. Matter of fact, I uh, guess it's kind of senseless driving around aimlessly. Yeah, didn't really think this one through, did we? I know where he is. You do? Yeah, saw him a few months ago leaving the ER when I came in for my routine alcohol poisoning. He was heading off to the mountains, muttering something about getting lost. Figured it was some spiritual shit. Well, what are we waiting for? Off to the mountains! Yeah! yeah! Now, where was I? Hmm, seems you've got a case of forget a who's he what's it. How are you a doctor again? Sometimes I like to snort WD-40. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! Where are you, lad? SpongeBob! It's no use. I guess I'll just have a butt jungle forever. Unless... No. Well, I guess it's back to the crusty Cooch. Why would you call it that? Who wants to eat a crusty Cooch? Well, this one's for you, buddy. <gasps> SpongeBob! SpongeBob! There's that voice again. I, I just can't escape it. <gasps> Let's go. <gasps> Hi, Patrick. SpongeBob! There you are! Why do you sound different? Ah! Oh, Patrick, I have bronchitis! That's really what we're going with, huh? I was asking the doctor over and over and over and over how to get rid of it, and he told me to go take a hike. So that's what I did. Wow. So does this mean you'll be in more videos now? <laughs> no. So what do you think? Not really that great of an explanation now, is it? <laughs> Bitches! Hey Squidward. Hey Squidward. Hey Squidward. Hey Squidward. 
All right, I'll bite. What is it, SpongeBob? Do you know what day it is? The day that I cave into temptation? No, it's a certain day before Christmas. And you know what that means. Gucci canes. SpongeBob, how long have we known each other? 20 years. And how many times have I actively wanted to participate in Christmas festivities? One, two, three. Never. Right. So that means I never want to celebrate Christmas. Ever. Oh, I get it. You're more of a dick pop kind of guy, huh, Squidward? Mr. Krabs, I'm taking my vacation now. I'll be back after the new year. Poor Squid. He just can't seem to find the Christmas spirit. He seems so much happier not celebrating Christmas. Hmm, Brain, I think we've hatched an idea. Pat, trafficking. I see Patrick still experimenting with brand-friendly business models. Patrick? Patrick! Oh, uh, someone's at the door. Keep it classy, ladies. Oh, hey, SpongeBob. <gasps> I thought it was the fuzz, ha <laughs> ha. Patrick, Squidward just never seems happy celebrating Christmas. Do you know why that is? Uh, isn't it because he's Jewish? I mean, get a load of that honker. No! Squidward unlocked the secret to being happy at Christmas time. Being a total washed up sourpuss of a specimen festering underneath the boot of society waiting for the moment to get scraped off onto the sidewalk until you get stepped on again only for the whole process to repeat itself. I don't get it. Don't you see, Patrick? To be happy at Christmas time, we have to be like Squidward. Ooh, ooh, I want to try. <laughs> don't be gay. You'll have a seat waiting in hell. I think that's a conservative Christian group, Patrick. Don't. Come on, let's go celebrate Christmas in reverse. <laughs> Sending some hate mail to Santa really ought to get things in the reverse Christmas spirit. Dear Santa, you're a stupid little bitch, and I slept with your fat whore wife. Santa has, uh, smells bad. <laughs> We've got a lot more letters to go where those came from. Many shit letters later. No one. Now we wait for Santa to unleash his wrath upon us. SpongeBob, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Squidward. You know, I did some thinking about what you said, and I decided to respect your feelings on Christmas. Wow. Well, uh, that's actually very thoughtful of you, SpongeBob. So to make it up to you, and to see Christmas from your perspective, we sent truckloads of hate mail to Santa Claus. You what? <laughs> This Justin, Santa Claus is dropping bombs like it's Hiroshima in this bitch. Please start panicking and running in circles. We get it, Patrick. We brought Squidward's vision of the holidays to life and saved Christmas. Merry Christmas, We're here at the Krusty Cooch once again for the grand unveiling of the new hot item on the tip of everyone's bird. It's hip, it's coral, it's canned coochie. Too. So tell us, Mr. Krabs, what made you decide to double dip into your juicy, juicy success? Well, everybody likes a little bit of coochie, and I like money, so it's a win-win for everybody. And how do you go about harvesting so much delectable coochie? Well, I usually just go dumpster diving after people are finished with the first can and slap a two on it. Little slappy seconds never hurt anybody, right? Oh me, oh my, I just can't handle all this coochie. My tiny little body is tripping. How was that? Yeah, you know, I was a little bit sketched out about it at first. But then I saw how happy it makes my mom. She's like a fat kid on an ice cream cone with this thing, huh? 
uh, realized we were doing a good thing. Anything else you'd like to add, Mr. Krabs? Current Gucci 2 comes in three distinct flavors. Scented Stepsister, Cheat Mama, and Cherry. Get your butt down to the crusty cooch and indulge yourself. You've earned it, Slugger. I'm Phil Fishhead, and I'm getting back in line for some canned coochie. Two. Meanwhile, everybody out! There's no Koji left on the premise six! Hey, could I get myself some canned Koji? Out of all the ways we could have served our probation for kidnapping and tickling the president's feet, it just had to be elder sitting. I know, it's weird. I thought he kind of liked it too. I never got to taste them. <laughs> There you guys are. I gotta run to the store to get some more nappies for Mermaid Man. He's got some super stains in his super undies that no amount of OxyClean can dig out. God rest their souls. Can you handle looking after him? Yes, Absolutely sir. not. Good. I'll be back in an hour. He's napping, so don't do anything stupid. Oh, look at the sleepy fella. You think he'd notice if we lick his feet? Wait a minute. Something isn't right here. I can take his slippers off, Squidward. Not that, you dunce. Why are his eyes open? Hmm, maybe he's on the lookout for sleepy feet bandits. Exactly. And you know what that means, right? <laughs> no. That isn't Mermaid Man. It's some kind of feet guarding surveillance drone. We'll never be able to get to those crusty, flaky, barnacle tootsies with it here. What are we gonna do, Squidward? We're gonna have to take matters into our own hands and do something ugly. I'm right behind you, Squid. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> God, somebody call the police! Police, we have you surrounded! What's going on here? This mermaid man drone was giving us a funny look! That sick monster! Step aside, boys, we'll take it from here. One brutal beating late, Dale. What in tarnation is going on here? Oh, hey, Barnacle Boy! We were just beating up this old mermaid man bot you had laying around. Now you can go back to enjoying feet in peace. That was Mermaid Man. Mermaid Man, speak to me. What did they do to you? Uh <laughs> Maybe we should get out of here. <laughs> Great. Hey, Squidward, you should make a meme. No, I will not make a meme. Come on, Squid, it's easy. Here, like this. Fence. Patrick, that's retarded. That's a meme, Squidward. People will laugh at anything. Come on, now you try. No! I have never made a meme and I never will. Mr. Squidward, make a meme or you're fired. Don't. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, aha. Chef Boyardee beef aroni. Huh? Huh? You thought we was finna left. <laughs> 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 hey, heard we were making memes over here. What's going on? Squidward can't make a meme. Th yes, I can. Watch. <laughs> this spoon is abnormally large. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you must feel really stupid. Try like this, Mr. Squidward. Whoa, look. It's crumbling. Or this. Get a load of this, Chad, watching anime. <laughs> I bet you're hung like a horse. Good guy, Plankton. <laughs> or how about this? <laughs> what about this? Cleaning your girl's booty before you eat it like... <laughs> 
<laughs> what about uh, thanks to? <laughs> gotta get out of here. Maybe a trip to the store will calm my nerves. Intensive. I bet they won't have. <gasps> wow, they have it square. <laughs> What? Mr. Tentacles, Square is so goddamn funny. How does it feel to have created the greatest meme in existence? Well, it certainly wasn't easy. Anything to say for our viewers at home? Fuck my boss, he's an asshole and I quit. <laughs> I'll ride this fame till the day I die. The next day. Square! Where is everybody? Hey, Squid. Patrick, where are my thousands of adoring fans? Psh, Square is so yesterday, Squid. It's all about mildly racist chicken guy now. White people people are the crackers. But, 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 but I quit my job. I can't pay my bills. Trends come and go. You can't expect to live off the rest of your days from a single meme, Squid. Well, talk to you later. Starting at OnlyFans. It always fails. It always fucking fails. Every fucking plan I've ever had. Every fucking invention, scheme. We're late night romp at the club. He's always fucking ruined by that fiery red asshole Krabs. Why don't you cancel Krabs? <laughs> That's brilliant, my cylinder computer girlfriend, Alexa. My wife is dead. She's my nut rag. Dear God. Time to go hunt for some mildly off-color tweets that Krabs made ten years ago to really stick it to him. <laughs> oh my goodness! Squids are lazy and smell? It's perfect. It's diabolical! It probably doesn't represent his feelings today, but who cares? He's done for! And that is why my wife doesn't let me sleep in the bed. Huh? Who's that? Uh, uh, oh! Holy musky donkey balls! Krusty cooch owner Eugene Krabs is racist? Let's go in for the scoop! Cancel Krabs! Cancel Krabs! Please, everyone, just calm down! I made that tweet like 10 years ago! I don't still think squids are lazy and smell bad! I'm sorry! Besides, I think I was like drunk or something when I sent that. Oh, yeah? Then why didn't you? apologize for it until now, huh? Bruh. I don't have a mental file of every single fucking tweet I ever made. I can't micromanage every single aspect of my life, especially when I've long since moved on and learned from it. And that is why you're canceled. <laughs> hey, let's send me tweets to him and see how he likes it. Huh? <laughs> People, people, please! Don't you see that by harassing this man and threatening him, that you're no better than he is? It was an old tweet. It was a bad take. None of you are even squids. Why are you offended? I'm not. We all make mistakes and say stupid things. If we start crucifying each other and ruining each other's lives over every dumb thing we've said, everyone will be canceled. People can be forgiven. Nobody's perfect. You just need to be willing to grow, learn, and change for the better. Unless you're a pedophile, then you can just die. He's making sense! Oi! Let's send mean tweets to both of them! Three <laughs> days of bullying late, Dale. Huh. Getting kind of bored of canceling these guys. Hey, everyone! The guy who exposed crabs nuts on his dead wife! Let's go cancel him! Come on! <laughs> Well, now that I've been canceled to hell and back, I'll never make another mistake ever again. 
Really? <laughs> of course I will! I'll just avoid social media like the plague for the rest of me miserable existence. <laughs> oh, I'm sad now. Hey! Come on! It's only fun when it happens to other people! Please stop! I will destroy all of you! Good morning to everyone out there! Perch Perkins here, and welcome to the first ever Jelly Spotters presidential election! Up until now, not a soul has ever challenged longtime Jelly Spotters president Kevin the Sea Cucumber to this legendary title. Because why would they? Who wants to be in charge of a bunch of fat, sweaty nerds? Uh, I mean, all that is about to change. As a newcomer has entered the ring, let's head down to the debate where our candidates will surely feed us heaps of lies to secure our votes and claim the coveted title of Jelly Spotter's president. Introducing longtime Jelly Spotter's president, Kevin the Sea Cucumber. Hello, losers. I mean, loyal doormats. I mean, brain dead sheep. I, I mean, and for the first time ever, put your hands together for the rival candidate, Patrick Starr. How did I get here? What am I doing? Our audience has been anticipating this for quite some time. So let's get right into the questions. Kevin, how do you plan to secure your loyal followers' votes once again? <laughs> Same way I always do. Piss and shit and fart and cum all over their stupid faces. They'll vote for me no matter what. Fair point. And how do you plan to secure the vote, Mr. Star? I still don't know where I am. Me, 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 me. A unique take for sure. Mr. President, you want stated that anchovies are, quote, subaquatic scum unworthy of your presence. Do you still feel this way? Uh, um, I, uh, well, you know, I, 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 uh... Out of time, Mr. Star. How do you feel about anchovies? Oh, I like the pretty colors. <laughs> Kevin, how do you plan to expand the role of the jelly spotters in Bikini Bottom? I'm always expanding. I'm the greatest expanderer that ever expanded. All of my followers know that because that's what I tell them. And how about you, Mr. Star? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, what was the question again? How do you plan to expand the role of the Jelly Spotters? Hang on, my ears are a little funny. Could you repeat that? How do you plan to expand the role of the Jelly Spotters? Oops, I had my earplugs in. One more time. How do you plan to expand the role? Can you speak up a little? My grandma's asshole whistles louder than you speak. Oh, jeez. Many agonizing repeated questions later. Now for the final question. Mr. President, how do you plan to combat the spread of the coral virus within the Jelly Spotters community? <laughs> the virus is nothing but a myth, and everyone who wears a mask is a wimpy, pansy, pussy baby. Me? No, Kevin, wear a mask. I wear it when I think I need it, which is basically never. What about you, Mr. Star? What about me? Huh? That's all the time we have. It's time to vote. Votes are in. And the winner is... Our surprise last-minute third-party candidate, Kanye West! <laughs> I still don't know where I am! <laughs> I can't believe it. How could I lose? Stupid fake-ass fear-mongering virus! Two days later... Hmm. It appears you've come down with a case of the coral virus. Breaking news! Krusty Cooch owner Eugene Krabs is set to reveal yet another hot, slippery, juicy menu item! Huh? Was that? It's just pussy again? Come on, let's wrap it up. Hey, yo! Uh, what the fuck? Get in here! Come on, we got all kinds of coochie for you! Coochie for him, coochie for her, Coochie Coochie, Krusty Coochie! Cougar Coochie, Censored Coochie, Uncensored Coochie. You gotta pay for it. Start lining up and handing over all your money. What the? 
Mr. Squidward! What? I told you to hand out those flyers! Where's all me paying customers? You know what, Mr. Krabs? I did! No one wants your crusty coochie in a can! What? Of course people want me coochie! I sold millions the first time around! And look what's happened since then! You resold used cans from the dumpster out back to your loyal customers! And got cancelled by Twitter, the highest authority known to man! You're done selling pussy <gasps> in a can! Move on to something else! But... But... I spent every last penny I had on this! <laughs> you what? Every single dollar I had! Invested in coaching! <laughs> What's poppin', my homies? I'm still working on it, don't worry, it'll get better! Yeah, what's up with Krabby? He spent every last dollar he had investing in the Kochi. Kochi? <laughs> Kochi is so 2019. I tried to tell him. You boys don't get it, do you? I'm broke! I can't afford to keep this place up and running! <sighs> I'm afraid I'm gonna have to let you two go. Huh? What? But, but Mr. Krabs, what's gonna happen to this place? Hello, Eugene! I'm just here to show my new business partner around his new restaurant. Uh, isn't that right, Colonel? Try my KFC Chicken Littles. <laughs> yeah, I can't get him to stop saying that. Well, I see you're in the middle of something. We'll uh, leave you to it. <sighs> been a pleasure working with you boys. I couldn't disagree more, sir. What? Sure have a lot of memories in this place. Well, old girl, I guess this is goodbye. 